Oh hi there Mr. and Mrs. Peterson. How's it going? Well it's going okay, but however we have got something to tell you all. Really? And what is it? Well, you remember these girls named Brianna, Tiana, Carla and Yuna? Oh yeah, I do remember those four girls. Those were the two girls who stole my twin daughter's phone a few months ago, and they got arrested for it. Here's the thing, these two, along with the others have now improved their behavior and promises to stop causing trouble. Wait really? Wow. I'm actually impressed. It looks like the entire Molly gang has now improved their behaviors and moved on from their troublemaking antics. I know, that is really great to hear. However there is a bit of bad news with it. What is it? Well it seems that Carla, Yuna, Brianna and Tiana have been disowned by their parents after what happened in the 2020-2021 to school year. Not only that, but they have received some very harsh treatment from their parents as a result of it. I get it they used to cause trouble, but straight up disowning them isn't always the answer. However, not to be hypocritical, but we have also been guilty of being a bit harsh on our daughter Molly back then when she was causing trouble. We admit that we used to take part in our youngest daughter Victoria's game by calling her a useless object head term, which was just straight up wrong on so many levels. We completely regret doing that too. Fortunately we did apologize to her over the phone about those times, and we want to repent our sins we had ever done. Well, we are glad you two have realized your mistakes and corrected them by making peace with Molly and promise to never do that type of crap again. However, we do agree on what you guys said about the other parents. What they did to their daughters was unnecessarily mean-spirited and just straight up too harsh. We need to confront them about this. Yeah, that is a good idea. We seriously need to talk some sense into them for what they have done. So officers, you wanted us to arrive here at the park, is everything alright? Well that depends, have you all checked up on your daughters Carla, Yuna, Brianna and Tiana? Oh gosh, don't even dare mention those names in our presence. They have got to be one of the worst troublemaking kids we have ever encountered. And good riddance that we kicked them out of the house before they could get even worse. This is exactly the type of mess we are talking about. You guys treat your daughters like they are worse than Satan. But officers, we can explain. Those girls have been causing trouble non-stop, so we needed them out of our lives so that peace can be restored. What you guys did there was just straight up neglect. How could you all do such a thing to your own children? I get it they cause trouble, but you do realize that they weren't entirely that bad in the first place. Well our daughter, along with her best friends Molly and Yuna, attacked their principal and got expelled. And our troubling twin daughters brought steroids and gave it to Timothy. Well that is true, assaulting people and doing drugs is illegal. Don't forget that they are also underage. Drinking. Smoking in the girls' bathroom and stealing Halloween candy from children. Yes, those are also bad things, but it isn't necessarily bad enough to the point where you don't want them anymore and abandon them. You could have got them help, or seek therapy, but instead you all just disowned your own children like they didn't mean anything to you all. Hell, not even Trita's parents would go this far to disown their own daughter, despite her trouble-making antics, as well as bullying and being violent. At the end of the day, she is their daughter after all. Look, why do you all even care anyways? It's really none of your concern. You didn't even like them to begin with when they were causing chaos in Beyond City. Here's the thing, our job is to help enforce the laws around town so we can keep this city safe. But aside from that, the reason we care is that they are human just like us. They bleed the same blood, they breathe the same air, and they all make mistakes just like us. You should all get this through your thick skulls, because this situation is the reason why many troublemakers go insane due to poor treatment they receive. Yeah it's bad they may have misbehaved and such, but they deserve respect too just like everyone else. Even the vicious group the Ionistums do much worse things that would have got them kicked out of the house for good, but not even their parents disowned them, so we don't see why would you all do that. 
we strongly advise you all to make peace with your daughters somehow, because you don't want to go down the same dark path that Lamar's parents went. They gave him an extreme punishment day on his 18th birthday, which caused the guy to be extremely traumatized that day. And as a result, they were arrested, charged and lost full custody of Lamar. So if you guys don't want to go down this dark path, it's not too late to change your ways. But like what Officer Thompson said, you all need to find a way to make peace with your daughters. However, this type of offense can get you guys charged for child abandonment. This means that you could be sentenced to probation with child neglect. We'll see you guys in court first thing tomorrow morning. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, Hitman and Akamine, you all have been found guilty of abandoning your children and not getting them the proper help they needed to get on the right path. Fortunately, they have now improved their behaviors and redeemed themselves. However, this doesn't excuse the criminal charges you all will be faced with. You all will be charged with child neglect and for child abuse and mistreatment. For this, you all will be sentenced to four years probation. Which means you all won't be able to leave the state without permission from the court. Case dismissed. So yeah guys, as you all saw it right there, the parents of Brianna, Tiana, Carla and Yuna have now been confronted and charged for disowning their children for something that wasn't even that serious. And to be quite honest, disowning troublemakers isn't always the answer, and that can sometimes make the situation worse. I know we've been saying this for the longest, but not all troublemakers are the inherently bad. Now maybe the situation would be most appropriate if there was some kind of abuse in the family or that the person is too dangerous to keep around. But even looking back at my older videos and watching the 4-hour compilation of the Molly Gang Grounded series on Azure Midnight's channel. I mean even at their worst moments, none of the following would be extreme enough reasons for any of them to be disowned. In all honesty, the Molly Gang was never really that bad to begin with. I'm glad that they all have now improved their behaviors and apologize for what they have done. But I will say I'm quite disappointed in how the parents handled the situation. Please note that the Peterson parents were the only ones who did not disown Molly. Sure they were a bit hostile when Molly was first released from jail, but they at least were able to make peace with her and promises not to treat her as harshly as they used to be. As for the other three, they went as far to completely disown their daughters and kick them out of the family without letting them to seek help and to change their ways. The Hitman parents and Johnson parents are just as bad as one another. While the Akamine parents aren't as bad as the other two, they are still guilty for doing that to their own daughter Yuna. But anyways guys, I hope you all understand what I had to say about all of this. If you have any questions, comment, or concerns, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. But anyways this is me Rockstar Ryan 789 also known as is Azariah. Signing off.